So following the Veruca decision I did November 2022, this is a three month post-op review of a full thickness skin incision. Uh, just a quick still of this. This was the from the still from the video I did last November. Full thickness excision of a 20 year old Veruca. Had a little bit of post-op bleeding, but uh, go and check out the original video. This is three months later on. Mike, I think we'll start the video about there. Now, how does this fella feel? Is there any discomfort with this now at all? No, thank no. you. No. I feel it's sort of, um, it's not quite calloused over. No, no, no. And how long was it? Is it two months or three? Three, I think, from the original. Got it, got it, got it. So what we've got, we've got a little bit of irregularity in the skin. You've got a little bit of a, of a scar then. You know, you take away a full thickness excision, you're going to replace that with a bit of, bit of a scar. The idea is that we, we create a flat scar. Still, I can feel it's a little bit thick and swollen is not quite the word, but it's a bit thick. Or I was in Kettering actually yesterday, so it's a bit thick. <laughs> it's a bit thick. And that will shrink down over time because you can't really see with the video, but it's, it's a little bit sticky out -y. Um Any discomfort at all when I press now? Sideways at all? Um, I can feel the pressure. That one I can feel. A little yeah, bit of feeling there. Yeah. But I can't see any sign of any Veruca there. We took a little one out there and then the main one out there, but it looks to be Veruca free. I can't see nothing in there. That just seems to be a little bit of a flat scar, which will settle down with time. So I'm, I'm really pleased with that, but compared to your pre procedure discomfort, because I know it'd been there, what, was it 20 years, something, something like that? Like that yeah. And it was pretty sore, wasn't it? So I'm really I'm, pleased with that. Yeah, I'm no longer walking like that. Yeah, more like a choice, straight. which is really good. Knee alignment's coming back yeah, underneath yeah. the foot. It's not quite 100% there, but it's close now, rather than... Doing that? Yeah. Cool. So we'll count that as a win. So Mike, what we'll do, just for, for completion, I'll, I'll just keep you on the books. Yeah. Uh, keep the books open for six months, just in case you get, A, any sign of recurrence, which is always a possibility. I always kind of quote about a 10% recurrence rate because you're not immune to the virus, so you can you can reseed another one there because there'll be Veruca virus all around your yeah. house. Or if you find that scar becomes uncomfortable, I've seen the odd one of those. So I, I quote about an 80% success rate for a full thickness excision, but there's a risk of recurrence of about 10% and a risk of, of painful scar of about 10%, but that's going to flatten off. Ideally, I'd love a picture of that in about 6-12 months, just so I can really see like a long-term view. Yeah. Um, but um, what we'll do is keep on the books on. I do that with a few of my kind of case study patients. Rather than keep com coming back, I just get them to email a, a picture in just so I can I can see how they're doing. Not as if you've got my contact. I have got your contact yeah, details, but let's not let's put them on YouTube because people will go, who's that? <laughs> who's that good looking guy? He could definitely be a tribute singer to the Beatles. <laughs> not the Beatles, the Eagles. Or Megadeth. <laughs> okay. Okay. Questions, fella. Anything I can tell you? Um Anything else that I should do on it? Or just no, just, just, and... just let it fly. But do keep an eye on it. Just yeah. I mean, thing to look out for is obviously any recurrence of discomfort. But I'd, I'd like to see a follow-up picture of that scar in about six months so I can just see yeah. that it really kind of flattens off. It'll always be a little bit of a scar, but it should be kind of pale and interesting, really, a bit like myself. Won't okay. be modelling my feet anymore. <laughs> so, so, sorry, say, Won't but, be modelling my feet anymore. Well, no. <laughs> only as a post-op. Right, I'll stop the video there. Mike, thanks for that. Nice one. So here's a close-up still of Michael's foot. You can still see some irregularity to the scar, but that will flatten off over time. But looking at it through a naked eye and through my reading glasses, it looked to be verrucous free. All the dermal papillae are starting to grow back through. Just no sign of any verruca tissue there. And um, importantly, he's pain-free, so he's really pleased with that front. Otherwise, very chronic lesions.